Hey everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Tracy and a Wagner with Personal Inspirations. And today I wanted to look at going through the series of Reiki. Now you may have heard of Reiki. You may even be a practitioner of Reiki. But for those of you who don't know what Reiki is, I'd like to just kind of offer you a little bit of information on it. So maybe you might want to look further into this thing called Reiki. So let me screen share and we'll get started. All right. And like I said, we're going to be discussing Reiki. So Reiki, in just basic terms, Ray stands for spiritual wisdom, and K or key is life energy. What is Reiki? Well, Reiki is pronounced Ray Key. It is spiritual wisdom and life energy. It was founded in 1922 by Mikao Usui. It's like a 2,500 year old healing technique that he discovered, rediscovered. He spent a long time looking for this technique and he was eventually able to find it and teach it to others. Ki, Chi, Prana, T, and Ki, all is the same thing. You may have heard one of those said before. It's just your life Force energy or the living energy that is within each of us. It's known for being a hands on modality, but you can also use what's called a hovering hands technique. Beaming, which is you just standing on one side of the room and beaming it towards someone else, or you can send the healing energy through your hands. The foundation for all Reiki within the Reiki One class stands as a firm foundation. You learn from the ground up so that you can better have a complete foundation on which to build from there. You may have heard some people say, I'm a crystal Reiki practitioner, or I have been attuned to Reiki too, or I actually teach Reiki as a master teacher. There's also other add-on Reiki modalities and techniques that you can use, but Reiki 1, the first Reiki that you will learn, is the foundation of all of Reiki. Everyone is born with the ability to use Reiki. All it is is that you learn how to use the Reiki energy through what's called an attunement. These attunements are actuated during each of the processes. So for Reiki 1, you'll get an attunement. For Reiki 2, you'll get an attunement. And for Master Teacher, you will get an attunement for that, but you'll also learn how to Give attunements to others. These are the first level is kind of termed as the healer level. The second is the practitioner, and the third, master teacher. So, what does Reiki do? Reiki is a holistic wellness program. You can use it for yourself, especially in the Reiki 1 and Reiki 2. You can learn how to use it yourself and how to do the hands-on techniques for others, but you can use it for that holistic wellness within. It relieves stress. Right away, when someone, re when someone receives the Reiki energy, a lot of times they'll say that their stress levels have been reduced. It creates balance. If you have a chaotic energy flowing around you or if you're experiencing a lot of stuff in your life, receiving Reiki will actually help to create a balance. 
it clears blocks. It's a wonderful way to clear blocks of energy that have maybe settled in certain chakras or in certain points of your body or in your subtle energy field. And it helps to remove those blocks so that things just move and glide smoothly and easily. It cleanses the energy field. It's a wonderful cleanser. I actually use a technique where I use the Reiki energy to actually clean and clear the cards that I use when I do readings each time. It's quick, it's easy, and it is a very powerful way to just clear all the cards so that we can introduce new energy for a new reading. Relaxation. When people receive Reiki, not only sometimes do they does their stress get relieved? Maybe some pains are lessened, but there is a relaxation feel. You feel so relaxed after you've had Reiki done for you. And it is just a wonderful way to actually help you to go into maybe a meditative practice, or maybe if you're doing a lower, um, lower field of yoga, you're not kind of jumping around or you're not doing a real um, heavy workout with yoga. It's a wonderful thing to do for yourself that will actually help to prepare you in that relaxation frame mind, mind frame for receiving either the yoga or the meditation or prayers or whatever is on a more relaxed level. If you're wanting to read and pay attention, this is a great way to actually introduce some Reiki for yourself and then be able to sit and enjoy a book without feeling like you have monkey mind going all over the place. Use the Reiki for relaxation and you'll be surprised at the amount of things that you can actually get done when you're in more relaxed, less stressed state. And the last one, it really helps to assist the natural healing process of your body. When you introduce Reiki into your energy field, when you've relaxed your um, body and mind, and when you've decreased the stress level of your body, when you've cleared blocks, when you've created a, an atmosphere of wellness around you, and when you have balanced and cleansed your energy, you'll be surprised at the he natural healing benefits that Reiki can actually help for you. So the foundational Reiki levels, this would be Reiki 1. This is the healer. This is the person that wants to learn Reiki maybe for themselves and maybe for others. This is what Reiki is. This is how what you're going to learn is what Reiki is, its history, the techniques for hands-on, the techniques for hovering, and the techniques for beaming. You'll also learn the ethics of energy healing. You'll also learn healing yourself and others in this practice of Reiki. And you'll be attuned to Reiki 1. In Reiki 2, you're considered a practitioner. You're someone who wants to learn more about Reiki and go the extra step. In there, you will learn the symbols of Reiki, the power, mental, emotional, and distance symbols, and how to use them. You'll learn that ethics are a major factor, especially when you have the ability to send Reiki throughout a distance because you might feel like you want to go out and heal the world, which is beautiful. It's a wonderful idea. But everyone has free will. Everyone is here to experience their own unique thing. And if we invoke our will upon someone else, 
then it disrupts their ability to learn and experience life the way that they wanted to when they manifested into this world. So ethics, you'll learn, and Reiki too, are a major factor. You'll also be attuned to Reiki too. Now, for the person who loved Reiki 1, who loved Reiki 2, and would like to learn more and maybe share this knowledge with others, there's Reiki 3, the master teacher level. In this, you're considered a master teacher when you complete this course. The Buddhist information on Reiki is included in this because it's a powerful example of all of the different areas in which Reiki is known worldwide. You'll also learn how to pass on attunements. You'll learn how to pass on the attunements to others. You'll learn the Reiki 1, the Reiki 2, and how to pass on the level Reiki 3 master teacher attunement when your students have completed the courses. You'll also learn master symbols. So these are different symbols than from Reiki 2. These are your master symbols, mainly so that you can pass on the attunements to others. And then you'll receive your final Reiki master teacher attunement. So, yes, you may have already heard there are other forms of Reiki. But remember, always Reiki 1, Reiki 2, and Reiki 3 are the foundation. Reiki 1 being the full foundation, the ultimate foundation for learning any other Reiki. There's what's called add-ons. These are used as accessories to the foundational Reiki system. There are extra symbols that have been channeled from those that have connected with Ascended Masters and the Angels. These are other symbols that you can use that you can incorporate into your Reiki practice. You can also use drumming, spirit and totem animals, ancient civilization information, plants and herbs, and lots of other add-ons to heighten your experiences with Reiki. And there are also different kinds of attunements. These are used to awaken the intention of the new symbols, these that are the add-ons. So you'll have different attunements that will actually transfer that knowledge over to you, especially if you're a master teacher and you're looking at maybe doing these different classes, add-on classes to help others, you can pass on these new symbols and techniques to others. It also gives you the ability to teach these add-ons. And when you attune others to these add-ons, they can use them as well. So why the difference? Well, because people are different. We change, and when we change, we actually maybe need something different. Not everything works for everybody. And so by being able to channel these different symbols and techniques, then we're able to help others that are looking for something different. It also boosts the fun and creativity within your Reiki practice. Not having fun actually leads to feeling overwhelmed or like you just don't want to um, continue on with something. If you're bored or you just have lost interest, then maybe try boosting that with learning some of these add-ons. Also, the creativity factor will allow you to help others in different ways. You can learn how to... Um, how to help others in different forms and in different ways. And this actually may be beneficial for your clients as well. It also helps you understand and really firm your foundation with the techniques that you've learned before. So not only do you have the foundational techniques, but you have these add-ons that kind of 
cooperate and collaborate with the other symbols and techniques that are used in the foundational Reiki 1, 2, and 3. So what are these add-ons? And by no means is this the only ones that are out there. There are so many different kinds of Reiki that you can experience just by Googling and seeing all the different kinds of techniques and add-ons that are out there. But some of them are, like I said, the foundation, but then you have Karuna Key Reiki. You also have Crystal Reiki. Mystical, Lemurian, and Shamanic Reiki. Mystical, Shamanic Reiki. And Atlantean and Lemurian Light Reiki. So these are just some of the add-ons that you may come across when you look for Reiki. But remember, like I've said, it's always about the foundation. It's always about that foundational Reiki, Reiki 1, Reiki 2, and Reiki 3. No matter what, always go back to the basics to learn how to use Reiki the way it was intended. And you'll be showing your heart to others and to yourself by giving yourself and giving to others that beautiful Reiki light. Perfect. Thank you again so much for spending some time with me today. I so appreciate it. And as always, I'm sending you and yours love, light, and eternal blessings. Take care.